Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio ALM MVP and DevOps practice lead. And to continue on our series for the container and microservices, this is the second video where I will create a virtual machine Linux or Ubuntu on Azure and establish a remote connection using Putty uh, and Git Bash. So we will see how to create uh, the, the Ubuntu uh, server and then installing Putty, Git Bash and have a, a remote connection. So let's see that. So here my Azure portal. So first I will install Putty, which is a client tool uh, for connecting to my Linux machine. Also, I will install Git for Windows to use for the same purpose. Uh, once I install them, this is Putty and this is Git Bash. So let's start by creating the, the first machine. So here I will create a machine and I will choose a point to server. I will choose this version. Click create. Here I just put the name of the machine where I will just put. So I will just naming the machine Linux and the username is mrad1. I will choose password to make things more much easier. And I will choose a password. I will create a new resource group called the container. And I will choose Western Europe. This machine is fine for the size. I will leave with the default. Remember just that the shutdown by default now, so it will close at 7 p.m. automatically. And then once I'm ready, I will just create the machine. So here it will start run the creation of the machine. Just a couple of minutes and the machine will be ready. Once the machine is created, I can find that the deployment succeeded. So if I click here, no, I don't need that now. So if I click here, connect, then this is the IP. So I can take this IP, copy using Putty, the port 22 and open. Yes. Here I will write my username. And here the password and now I am connected how I can know that if I run sudo to uh, you know to get the permission I can see that I'm running fine so let's connect with git bash to connect with, with git bash so I will use Yes, and, and here is the password. And again, if I write sudo, it shows that I'm connecting to the machine. So now I managed successfully to connect to them with the command line. In the next video, we are going to see how to install Docker and working with the containers. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog, mohammedradwan.com. Also, you, you can visit my blog with the link that will appear at the end of the video or uh, click on the related video, which usually is part of this series um, or uh, give you more information about the same topic. Thank you.